Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new and improved version of a 2.6 super fast hog cycle deck. Right here guys, hog rider, lumberjack, musketeer cycle, you have two small spells in here, no large spells, then the bat and the ice beard are your two fast cycle cards, 2.6 average elixir this deck right here guys is currently one of the top performing decks in grand challenges and doing very well on ladder as well so let's go ahead jump into our first battle of the evening and see how we can do and uh yeah that's about it so mr punisher i'm sorry you got you got cancelled your show was excellent i really enjoyed it um but it is what it is i guess Honestly, the Punisher is one of the, probably the best of the Netflix series, if I have to be honest. Alright. I spared here. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Alright, we good. I could go hog there, but I kind of want to figure out what he's got in his deck first. This is a good hog shot right here. Ah, it's a mini P.E.K.K.A. Stupid zap spell. Musketeer raged up, getting so much damage done. What a beastie girl. So, I was thinking it was going to be a bait deck. But I think it's more... There is a Hog Princess mini P.E.K.K.A deck that has free spell or lightning spell in it. It's usually free uh, lightning spell or rocket, one of the three. But then he's got Prince in there. So now I'm not really kind of sure. He's definitely got a bit of an odd deck. That's right. Punisher. Except my ice spirit. Boom. It is hog rider. It is hog rider. He's going to go prince for the left lane for the uh, lumberjack. Yep. What? I'm pretty okay with that, dudes. I'm pretty okay with that. Now, the problem here is he also has that mini P.E.K.K.A. So, trying to outcycle both the prince and the mini P.E.K.K.A. Might be a bit difficult, so kind of what I want to do here is I want to just chill and go snowball kind of chip cycle damage and see what our friend do. Does he have rocket or freeze or lightning? What do you guys think? It's normally one of the three, like I said before. Actually, did he give up? No, I just went aggressive because I thought he gave up. This here? Nice. There we go, dude. All right, we good. Go, Lumberjack, go. Nice. Rage OP. Princess, please die. That sucks. That's here. He freezes it. He just zaps it. I'm okay with that, Jazz. I spirit here. Where's your mini P.E.K.K.A, dude? Where's your mini P.E.K.K.A? No mini P.E.K.K.A for you? What? What? You guys might be asking yourself, Shane, what are you saying what for? And the honest answer is I just felt like saying it. <laughs> uh, Punisher GG. What a weird deck. He didn't have... Maybe he had the Prince in place of the Heavy Spell. Because we didn't see Freeze, we didn't see Rocket, we didn't see Lightning Spell. But let me know if you guys know which deck I'm referring to. That uh, Hog, Mini P.E.K.K.A, Princess... Um, Freeze heavy spell deck. Um, maybe you have the prince in there in place of one of the uh, bigger spells. We'll never know. I mean, we could know if I check my battle log, but you'll never know because I won't show it. I'm just kidding. Maybe we'll check it later on. We'll find out later on in the video. Ice spirit here. Oh, that's a hog rider. Really wish I had my L Jack right here. But alas, we do not, which really sucks. Hey. Is it me, or has that been happening a lot more recently? I really feel like that lag has been happening a lot more recently. And also, is it me, or are bats OP? Because take a look, tower left lane. 300 health. Ice golem bats, legit OP. Legitimately. Snowball? Kaboom. Musketeer? Kaboom! 
Free spell? Kaboom! Alright, I'll stop now. That's highly annoying, Shane. Please stop. Yes. What did you got, my dude? Uh, Musketeer, if you could just do me a kind favor and step inside that Rage Bell. Uh, much appreciate that, please. No? Just be enough? Okay. I see how it is. Why is my nose so itchy? Who knows why my nose is so itchy? Do you knows? I don't knows. <laughs> oh, I'm so lame. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I make you put up with my lameness. Whoa. This guy just busted out. He just whipped out an Infernal D. Infernal Dragon OP, guys. No. Not the, the fireball. No. Not the fireball. No. Musketeer, don't die. Ah, oh, you're too nub, Musketeer. Why you die? Urgh. Well, we haven't lost yet, which is a good sign, I guess. He's here. He's here. Yes, yes, yes. Take that. He's going to fireball that jazz. He zaps the jazz instead. All right. Log spell here. I mean, hog rider. I mean, not hog rider spell. It'd be cool if they had a hog spell, eh? I think it'd be pretty cool. Hog rider. Ice spirit. All right. So that's two hog prince decks in a row. What are the odds? Anyone know what the odds are of facing two hog prince decks back to back? Just like that? GG's, bro. GG's, bro. Look at the bats, man. Not Batman. Look at the bats, man. They're OP. Legitimately. All right, so we're doing okay here so far. Yeah. Recording looks good. We played some spells. And we're busting out some dubs. 5,200. Claim reward. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. I always leave them till the end of the month. Just because. Because why not? I don't need them right now anyways. Good luck to you, Mr. Jims. Do you have Hog Prince as well? Huh? What do you guys speculate? Are we recording this? Yep. We have seven minutes of recording officially as of Raw Meow. Whoa, those arrows are fast, dude. I can't get over how fast. They're like lightning arrows. Step aside, the flash. I am the fastest arrows alive. I don't even know where I get my commentary from. So, Fire Barrel there. He's gonna go... Oh, is he... Flash Rail tweeted. New, never played he Heist Mode, here's your chance. Oh. I have a uh, notification turned on for the uh, Clash Rail tweets. They just tweeted out and my phone went off. Whoa, sir. Uncalled for and unnecessary. Here we go. Protect the Musketeer. Now, here's the thing, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if I could get a, um, something down here, barbs, why do they have to be barbs, why, I hate barbs, man, yes, the pro prediction, take a seat, Jims, because I am the new pro player in town right here, boys, that's, that barb barrel against the Skarmy was clutchness, Yes, I just said clutchness. Now, here's a trick I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to go Hoggy Woggy there. Musketeer right here. And see if we can snipe an Infernal Tower. Yes, it worked. Success. I am so good at this game. The snipe with the Musketeer was everything he had to fear. And in the end, it was the crime that busted out the rhyme. All right. Barbarian gets two shots, please. There's one, and there's two. Thank you, Barb. Much appreciate. So, Mr. Jimmy Boy, can I call you Jimmy Boy? What's that you say? I can't? Too bad, I already said it. Uh, look at the RG just get... Uh, okay. All right, that was an RG right there. Where's your Barbarians? Barb's right here. Oh, the Infernal Tower, yes! I actually, guys, I know this might sound strange, but I actually purposely, predictively snowballed the Infernal Tower. 
I was not even aiming for Skarmy at all. I was aiming for the Infernal Tower. I knew he was going to go right there. Uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, the uh, Musketeer. We'll, we'll be a bit sad for her right now. But we'll Ice Spirit this. Log back this. Snowballs this. Oh, we got the Skarmy too! Yes! Good game. Well played, Mr. Jimmy Boy. Mr. Jimmy Boy. Good luck. Well played. See you in the future, buddy. But thank you for your trophies. Much appreciate. Play spells. Don't mind if I do. Request cards. Hmm. Why don't I go do that? Why don't I go request some cards right now, guys? What do you think? Request cards? Oh, no. I can't. I can't. Oh, no. Man, that sucks. <laughs> That's a tough life to live, you know. Never being able to request cards. Ay, ay, ay. But, where are we? Master one? Ah, uh, nothing too special. Alrighty, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead. One more battle right here against our dear friend Chris. And uh, we shall see how Chris is doing today. Ice Spirit here. Scratch the nose. That's right here. Really aggressive opener. Where's the prince again? Dark gob in the house. All right. Can I plan my uh, ice golem perfectly here? Yes. Chain is a pro player. Actually, not really. If you delay your snowball until just when the barrel lands, you can actually kill the entire barrel with the snowball. So just don't do what I did and you should be good to go. So, Chris, you wouldn't happen to have a hog rider in there, would you? Sir? Chris? He's got an ice wizard. What do we think? Ice wizard, prince, goblin barrel, goblin gang. Rocket? Kaboom? Ah, uh, I'm so smart. But he missed it! What a nub! What a nub! What a nub! Sir? Your official nub sauce right now. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, the tower goes down. Nice. <laughs> nice. Chris, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry, Chris. If you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry. But that was absolute denial. Next time, hit your shots, dude. That rocket. Much disappoint. I'm actually, I'm going to guess that he had card drop delay. It's a severe problem right now in Clash Royale. I've been getting it all the time where I go to drop a card and it just hovers and goes back to my hand after a few seconds. It is one of the most frustrating things right now and it's been happening ever since the April update. So I don't know how to fix that. But uh, like I said, it is highly annoying. But unfortunately for Chris, we have ourselves... Our first three crown of the video. We're absolutely destroying right now, guys. This deck is OP. Chris, one, four, three. Can't you see? So. Destroyed Log Bait. Destroyed RG Bait. Destroyed Hog Prince. And we beat Punisher. Who did, in fact, have a heavy spell. Fireball. Not too heavy. More like a medium spell. But uh, what, what's normally in that spot there for that deck? It's normally free spell and small spell. I don't know. But uh, we're on a pretty good win streak so far here. All right, guys, let's keep it kind of going right here. We're doing very, very well so far. So I figured why not keep it going? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? So Ice Golem Hog Rider. Ooh, let's go Ice Run back here. Baby Dragon is definitely going to be nasty sauce. Uh, so I'm not too sure quite what to expect just yet from this particular battle. Ice Wizzy, maybe a Splash Dart. Maybe we've been winning too much and the game has uh, set out to give us a counter deck. If it is, in fact, Splash Dart, it is going to be very, very tough to win this battle. And it appears I am correct with my presumption. It is, in fact, the Splash Dart deck. The question is, does he have a tombstone in there? And does he have a bowler? Those are my two questions right meow. But he's got NATO in there as well. 
Here we go. Yeah, that's some good damage. That's some okay damage. It's all right. We did overcommittal a bit. So I'm not particularly happy with that uh, performance there. Because of the overcommitment. But that D was definitely uh, satisfactory right there, guys. Do you want to go Hall Greta? I say we do. Could be risky. He's going to go Valkyrie for the Musketeer here. Yeah. Oh, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. No! Oh, man, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Where'd that Mini P.E.K.K.A. come from, dude? Where'd that Mini P.E.K.K.A. come from? Who uses Mini P.E.K.K.A. in, in Splash Yard? Oh. That was definitely a surprise card, guys. I did not expect Mini P.E.K.K.A. at all. Did not expect it, guys. Mini P.E.K.K.A. OP for sure. Now we'll see if he's got NATO in there. I don't think so, because we probably would have seen it by now. There we go. There we go, nice. Free spell OP. Bit of an overcommitment by our friend uh, person up there. But that... Uh... What do you call it, though? That mini P.E.K.K.A. man. Definitely caught me by surprise there. I would not have gone uh, anything that I did if I had thought that he had Mini P.E.K.K.A. in uh, his deck. Here we go. Nice. One of these here. How about this, Jazz? Do you work, Hall Rider, please? Here. Come on, please. Nice, baby. A bit aggressive, guys, but I like being aggressive. You may say, why do you like being aggressive? Uh, because I like losing, that's why. Oh, now he overcommitted, now I overcommitted, now we lose. I mean, he misses Musketeer, so that's, that's good. There we go. He's here. No about this, Jazz. Come on. Nice. We could still lose, though, very easily right here. Come on. Come on. Destroy it. There we go. Wait for it, dude. Wait for it. One of these, one of these. Bats here. Snowball here. Ice bird here. One hog shot. Oh, that was a close battle, dudes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Wow, that was a uh, very close battle. A couple of overcommitments by my part, a couple of overcommitments on his part, uh, back and forth, uh, misplays, and um, that mini P.E.K.K.A. dude. If I would have known, the, if any thought he had a mini P.E.K.K.A. in his deck, I wouldn't have played that aggressive Hog Rider that I did. Because he his counter push was insane. Wow. Probably could have defended that mini P.E.K.K.A. better as well, but uh, that was a very close battle. I actually kind of like his deck. Valkyrie, mini P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard Freeze. Would probably lose to Balloon decks because you don't really have a solid Balloon Destroyer. Uh, especially without NATO in there. If he had NATO, it would do very well versus uh, Lava Balloon decks and stuff like that. Because you could just like NATO it back, Ice Wizard, Archers, Freeze, NATO it back kind of thing. But uh, I think he's got kind of like the Mini P.E.K.K.A. in place of the NATO right now. But uh, look at this battle log, guys. Absolutely destroying with this deck over here. Wow. All right, let's go ahead, guys. Finish the video off with some replays, as we always do. Um, we have one right here, which is against uh, Mr. Bait Deck. He's rocking a Lock Bait Deck. This one is pretty funny, so make sure you stay tuned because um, funny things happen. We're going to go Ice Spirit here, right lane, for the tower. Kind of trade Ice Spirits, get some chip damage done. Uh, he goes Bar Barrel right here. We're going to go Bar Barrel for the Goblin Barrel right here. And for some reason, I use Bats as well. Not really too sure what I was thinking. But I try and make the most of what I did right there by using the Hog Rider to tank for the bats. 
And he does go Princess, he does go Skeletons, but he also misses his Infernal Tower, which allows us to get a huge Elixir trade and get damage done to his tower in the end as well. So, gonna go Snowball and the Ice Spirit here for the Goblin Barrel. Kind of keep my Ice Spirit, or sorry, my Snowball for his, uh, for offense later on. Musketeer destroys the uh, Infernal Tower with the Princess Unfortunate destroying the Musketeer. And in the end, we're looking pretty good here for our next Hog Rider push. So I'm going to use the Lumberjack for the Musketeer first, then the Hog Rider behind it, and then get our Snowball ready for the Infernal Tower. He tries to freeze it with the Ice Spirit, but the Lumberjack OP destroys the uh, the uh, Ice Spirit. Snowball for the Skeletons. Rage Hog Rider absolutely broken, destroying that tower. That's one of my favorite things to do with this deck, guys, is to push with the Hog Rider and have the Lumberjack in front tanking. Because if they use anything to try and destroy your Hog Rider, the L-Jack as a beast and destroys that. And when the L-Jack dies, it rages up your Hog Rider. And then the Hog Rider is officially OP. Now, at this point in the battle here, our dear friend, our dear Beatty Beatty friend, he's not really having a good day, guys. He's having a bad day. You know why? Because he just got destroyed by 2.6 Hog Cycle, the new and improved version. And uh, he, he rage quits. He leaves the battle. He leaves the building, he throws his iPad in the trash, and he's gone. He's done. I'm pretty sure he quit Clash Royale to this battle right here, guys. Look at this. Absolutely destroyed him. Three crown victory over a log bait deck. Alrighty, guys. One more replay over here. Facing off against our dear friend Bob, the builder. Yeah, he, he builds things, apparently. Um, and fixes things, too, apparently. You know? Anyways, he's rocking Golem Beatdown. And I figured this would be kind of a good replay to share, especially... Because Golem Beatdown can be very hard for fast cycle decks because basically all they do is they kind of just ignore your pressure, get that Golem push going on, and it's really hard for you to kind of stop them, especially because he has a Lightning Spell in there, which destroys the Eljack and the Musketeer, which are our two meaty cards of the deck. So seeing the Baby Dragon and the Guards in there, I was initially expecting a, a, a Royal Giant, which is why I went Musketeer kind of left lane because I figured he probably had lightning spell in there and I didn't want to give him lightning spell value. Now, I try and support the Musketeer with the Hog Rider there. He ends up lightning spelling at all, but we do get a bit of chip damage done to his tower, which um, I guess is okay in the end with the Ice Spirit here for the Mega Minion. We are up about three and a half Elixir right now. So we're going to keep the pressure up with a slow, never mind. We do not keep the pressure up. Probably should have, but I didn't. So we're going to go Musketeer, Ice Golem here. Basically, kind of just allows him to kind of build a big uh, defense here for this Hog Rider. Which, looking back at it, I probably should have just went immediate pressure to capitalize on the Elixir advantage that I had. But we're going to go Barbell here for the uh, for the Dark Prince. Then we're going to go, I believe, Larberjack in front of the Musketeer here for the uh, Guards. No, Ice Golem instead. Musketeer destroys the Baby Dragon, but dies to the Barbarian Barrel. And uh, in the end, kind of a failed push by me. Because this is, this is exactly what Bob wants. Bob wants to get into double elixir period with both of his towers healthy. When you're using a fast cycle deck versus uh, Golem, you almost always have to have one of their towers down before double elixir. So we're not really looking too good so far here. Ice Spirit freezing the Dark Prince. Going to keep the pressure up with an aggressive Ice Golem Hog Rider Lumberjack push, I believe. No Lumberjack, just Ice Golem Hog Rider. Snowball for the uh, guards right here. We got one Hog Shot, two Hog Shots, three Hog Shots, and four whopping Hog Rider Shots. Gonna go uh, pretty defensive right here. This is in a uh, this is a pretty bad position to be in right now because uh, he's got Lightning Spell from Musketeer. Golem coming up here, and we're gonna. This is a pretty interesting choice by me. I want to pause for a quick second, guys, to break this down. Look at his hand. He's got Dark Prince, Guards, Baby Dragon, and Lightning Spell. You can very easily Lightning Spell the Musketeer and then go Dark Prince uh, to support his Golem. If I go Lumberjack right now, he Lightning Spells the Musketeer, the Tower, and the Lumberjack. In fact, if I use anything additional on defense right here, he Lightning Spells it. It gives him Lightning Spell value. So instead of defending, what I do as I go super aggressive Hog Rider, and that way, it forces him to spend his Elixir on defense, not supporting his Golem, and given that there is only 27 seconds left in the battle right here, guys, all I gotta do is kinda just keep holding on for the victory, 
and uh, just kind of just don't let the golem destroy our tower, and we can hold on for the one crown. So here's what I do, guys. I go Ice Golem Hog Rider, aggressive. As you can see, he has Lightning Spell uh, selected. Lightning Spell going down for our uh, Musketeer. Now we're free to go Lumberjack for that Golem uh, because obviously the Lightning Spell is out of rotation. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even defended that Golem at all because if the Golem didn't die, that's a lot less damage to our tower from the Golem death damage. So the best thing to do right there, guys, was to go offense, force him to spend his Lexer on defense, and ignore the goal basically and hold on for the one crown as we did so overall guys pretty solid plays anyways guys that is the end of the video here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself 2.6 average elixir hog lumberjack cycle deck very fast pressure very fast cycle been doing very very well right now guys one of the top performing decks in grand challenges doing very well on ladder as well we did pretty good with it today guys we um Buffs set out a bunch of solid dubs in a row. Really, really happy with how this deck went today. But uh, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.